Why am I so hungry all of a sudden? Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 foods to eat when you've got the munchies. I want the perfect food. Are you hungry? For this list, we've considered all the wonderful foods that pique our interest when we're, well, in an expanded state of mind. Did you say an entire sleep? An entire oh, That's sleep. a lot of cookies. Is she a big lady? <laughs> of course, she's a humongous lady. Now, we know there's no way to quantify what the best food is, but come on, there are some foods bursting with flavor and specific textures that you just need to have when you're under the influence of a certain something. Not that we're encouraging or condoning that type of thing. What are you talking about? I'm just saying it. Cool Whip. You put Cool Whip on pie. Pie tastes better with Cool Whip. Number 10, fast food. I want 30 sliders, five french fries, and four large cherry cokes. I want the same, except make mine diet cokes. What would late night spaced out excursions with your buddies be if not for fast food? Oh, I can't believe I'm doing this. I swear to God, I'd never come to a top notch, and here I am sorting through jalapeno burgers and soggy fries. The drive through is your saving grace, with chains like McDonald's, Burger King, Wendy's, KFC, and Taco Bell offering greasy paper bags filled with soft bun burgers, endless fries, and chain specific desserts. Maybe it's a chocolate frosty that sparks your fancy. Maybe it's a quesalupa dripping with cheese. Hungry for cheese in the shell? Go to Taco Bell! <laughs> Perhaps it's a double order of McNuggets. Regardless of your preference, fast food offers grease and plenty of it, as its cheap quality allows for enormous quantity. I want a hamburger, no, a cheeseburger. I want a hot dog, I want a milkshake. You'll get nothing and like it. The cultural impact of fast food on the Dazed and Confused is so profound that Hollywood wound up making a pretty successful movie on the topic. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. let's do this together. Number nine, snack cakes. Little Debbie, <laughs> sweet yum yum snack cakes. <laughs> Chew them with your teeth, swallow them down your tummy. <laughs> then six hours later, go to the John and say goodbye to them. While a fast food joint is the ideal destination of the adventurous, the pantry is the savior of those too lazy or too paranoid to leave the house. We search the world for the perfect snack. And here in the gleaming kitchen of Mrs. Penny Bucksworth, we found it, little Debbie snack cakes. The effort of moving off the couch is well worth it. When what awaits in the kitchen are the likes of little Debbie zebra cakes, hostess ho-hos and ding-dongs, Dolly Madison zingers, and the classic Drake's cake. Drake's coffee cake? <laughs> Most exclusively available in the two-pack variety, these cakes are store-bought delights that usually offer some sort of cake base covered with a tasty icing or shell and capped off with a fluffy cream filling. Now the cakes pass through a shower of hot chocolate flavored liquid. They may come as two packs, but you better buy more as wrappers will litter the floor in no time. I hope you all saved room because I made your favorite dessert. Store-bought snack cakes, both kinds. Number eight, nuts. You're gonna love my nuts. Departing from the clearly unhealthy nature of our first two entries, this pick actually has something to offer, sort of. That's like peanut, hazelnut, cashew nut, macadamia nut. That was the one that was sent her <laughs> into a going crazy. Nuts are a good source of protein and certain varieties even contain good fats. But enough about all that. The chilled and craving don't concern themselves with health labels. It's a wholesome blend of peanuts, pecans, and other delicious nuts, specially mixed for people with hearts. Nuts earned their spot on this list for their wide variety of flavors and textures. Gourmet nuts. You know, I love some nuts. That's for me. Give me those. There you go. Hope they're honey roasted. They put the honey on the, on the, on the nuts? Mm -hmm. That's a whole different world right there. Each type of nut has its own unique crunch, which adds some serious entertainment value to the eating process. Here's some cracker nuts. Cracker nuts. <laughs> these nuts, these crackers are nuts, man. The classic whoa moment may just come when you're sitting there eating nuts. And of course, they offer intense flavor. The saltier the nuts, the more handfuls you'll likely shove in your mouth. He's trying to sell me. I asked for the salted nuts. He brought me the unsalted nuts. The unsalted nuts made me choke. Number seven, popcorn. <laughs> popcorn takes the high on one hell of a journey. 
watching the bag expand as kernels slowly pop over the course of three or four minutes, and waiting in anticipation of the flavor is as mesmerizing as it is anxiety giving. <laughs> Just how much butter would you like to drown your popcorn in? Just enough to ensure your fingers are a lickable treat once the actual food is gone, of course. Now the next step is just to take a spoonful of salted butter or unsalted, it doesn't matter, I'm gonna add a little extra salt. That's the classic route, but more refined popcorn fans know there are endless varieties offering endless flavors. Think of those Christmas tins. Caramel, peanut brittle, cheese. Oh my God, cheese. All available as fluffy delights for your craving tongue. Can't help myself. Mm. Number six, mac and cheese. Let's take this back to when you were five years old. You sit down at the table to a big bowl of creamy mac and cheese. Distraction noodle. What? Light, pure joy. Sit down in front of that same bowl at any age of your life when you're high, same reaction. The motivated may take the time to cook theirs up, and for that, we commend them. But for the rest of us, restless with a hungry stomach, companies like Kraft and Velveeta have come to the rescue with microwavables. New KD Bold Snack Cups. Four new flavors, undeniably bold taste. We can have cheesy, creamy goodness in three and a half minutes. We are attempting to attract the giant now with a bowl of craft dinner. When the giant arrives, we will attack him with our guns, our swords, our... Be my vulva, I smell craft dinner. Number five, chocolate. Oh! That's a lot of chocolate. A chocolate factory just may not be enough to fill the stomachs of those blissed out in the clouds when they crave chocolate. It's not just the intense flavor of pure chocolate that gets us, though in its own right, it finds a great way to delight our taste buds. It's also the way chocolate is combined with other textures to make incredible treats that excites us. Hershey's dominates for the purists, but then we have the likes of Twix to offer the cookie crunch, Mars bars and Milky Ways to bring in caramel, Kit Kats to feed us wafers that shouldn't work but somehow do. When I'm on a break and a chocolate craving hits, nothing beats a chunky. Yeah. Chocolate can be deliciously dangerous in times like these. Hey, little boy, my chocolate must be untouched by human hands. Number four, cookies. C is for cookie, that's good enough for me. C is for cookie, that's good enough for me. Cookies are demons of temptation because there's just so much to choose from. She just ate an entire sleeve of Chips Ahoy. Charlie, could you focus on the lawyer's room, please? We're not here to blackmail a lady for eating too many cookies. You can go with store-bought brands like Oreos, Fudgios, and Chips Ahoy, which are gobbled by the fistful. Don't you want me, baby? Don't you want me? Oh. Or you can bake your own, and that's where you can have some fun. Braving the oven, you may choose to go crispy, but for the baked, gooey wins the most recommendations. If you barely cook those things and then eat them right away, you'll get a hot, dripping mess of chocolate and cookie that, sure, you may wear on your face, but it's really your tongue that will thank you. Just be careful. You may be burnt, but you don't want to burn your tongue. Porter, honey, those cookies are hot. Just wait a few minutes and then I'll give you one when they're cool, okay? Number three, candy. We elves try to stick to the four main food groups. Candy, candy canes, candy corns, and syrup. As always, don't take candy from strangers, no matter how much you want to. The temptation is real, as candy offers some of the most intense flavor bursts out there. The mild and reserved may find themselves attracted to treats like airheads, Swedish fish, M&Ms, and gummy bears. Whereas the brave take on more intense flavors found in the sugar-coated and sour varieties. We're talking Sour Patch Kids, Pixie Sticks, Sour Bright Crawlers, Pop Rocks, and Sour Skittles. Feel the rainbow. Taste the rainbow. Warning, this second batch may just blow your mind. But whatever you choose, candy will take your taste buds on one wicked trip. <gasps> Number two, pizza. Yes, friends, the new Turbo Ginsu. Oh, Saving you from venturing out of the house, absolving you of the responsibility that comes with cooking, there is a savior, the pizza delivery guy. 
Pizza rolls and pizza pockets can certainly please the high, provided no one burns an overexcited tongue, but delivery pizza is the holy grail of pasta sauce and cheesy greatness. Just slip it down here. There's a certain joy, no, euphoria one gets when deciding which and how many toppings with which to bombard their pizza. Pepperoni, bacon bits, barbecue and buffalo chicken, burger meat, meatballs, three, four, five, unlimited cheese. That's kind of a funny question in and of itself because you can use anything as a pizza topping that's edible. Piping hot with queso falling from all angles. Your love affair with pizza is the stuff movies are made of. Mario, this pie needs work. Good consistency on the crust, but the cheese to sauce ratio is a travesty. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. Jake. Nachos. Nachos. I love nachos. Off the menu, my man. Holy shit, man. Where did you get these? Hey, what's cheese without a few crackers? You know what I'm saying? So there you have it. Fudgy brownies or cakey brownies. Kitchen conundrum solved. Enjoy. She was really cool. <laughs> Can't hold your soda, boys. Ritz bits and the taste of real cheese have come together. In tiny sandwiches. Number one, chips. Listen, man, if you go down to the store and get me some jalapeno chips and two dollars worth of pepperoni, I'll hang out with you for a bit. Accessible anywhere, whether it be your pantry, supermarket, or the convenience store down the street. Big, wonderful bags of chips are only ever a moment away from being popped open and enjoyed. I wish I was home with a big bag of potato chips. Mmm, potato chips. Chips offer the best of both worlds, flavor and texture. There are your standard Lay's potato chips, a classic for a reason. Who knew that Lay's made liquid potato chips? I can't suck just one. But you have others like Doritos, which have a stronger crunch and some pretty wild flavors. Then there's Cheetos, which redefined the chip shape and consequently the crunch. Big flavor, big crunch. C-H-I-P-S. Mic drop. At last, young Robin raised the final bite up to her lips. The crowd grew still. The only sound was Barney eating chips. Do you agree with our list? What foods do you enjoy snacking on when you have the munchies? For more mouth-watering top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Yeah, pick me up a bag of jalapeno chips.